Hey guys, welcome back again to your Unacademy Neat English channel. I hope all of you are doing great, having a good time. Dear students, first of all, I would like to thank all of you for the love and support which you have shown towards us from past couple of days since we started this channel. And in just two days, in just two days, this channel crossed 7k subscribers, right? Thank you so much for that. And we would want this support to be continued from your side right so that we can grow together so in this particular session i'm going to let you know some very 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 important topics basically if you just study these 60 topics which i'm going to give you i'm 100 percent sure in your chemistry you can easily score 150 plus for sure right so dear students before showing you all the topics of chemistry there is one more surprise which is coming up for all of you that will be related to the test series one special test series right i'll be giving you the updates of that like maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow perfect so basically we have got some 12 to 14 days left right so we want to mobilize we want to utilize these 40 days properly we want to make sure that you guys get benefited a lot by this particular team in these 40 days right so whatever is will be your remaining portion in different subjects, right? Question practice, all the things, all the things we would want to cover here only on this particular channel. Be it your physics, be it your chemistry, be it your biology. Perfect. Let's have a look on the short, short 60 topics. But please and please do focus on them. These are really, really very important. I'm telling you that. Okay. Starting from the mole concept, I would want you guys to study three topics in particular right i mean prioritize them more one is the mole conversion right mole conversion limiting gradient empirical formula from the chapter atomic structure go for energy radius and velocity based questions study the nodes properly apart from nodes go for psi and psi square graphs for s and p orbitals right there is one more topic in atomic structure that's your electronic configuration right do have a look on electronic configuration as well and some exceptions you know them copper chromium gadolinium right all the other exceptions whatever are there in the electronic configurations just have a look on them as well similarly if you look at chemical bonding chemical bonding is one of the most important chapters of your chemistry and you easily get some three to four questions from the chapter chemical bonding right and you have got electronegativity ionization energy electron gain enthalpy hybridization shape and geometry bond order right these are the four to five topics from the chapter chemical bonding which i would want you guys to do on priority similarly you have got states of matter which includes the gas loss grams law of effusion diffusion van der waals equation these are the three topics which are the short short topics from the chapter gaseous state and states of matter similarly when it comes to thermodynamics right one of the most phobic chapter of your chemistry okay but let me tell you on monday I'm taking a one shot of thermodynamics. So if you attend that session, it's not going to be phobic anymore, right? Just be relaxed about that. So in thermodynamics, we have got heat and work, which is very, very, very important. Apart from heat and work, we have got thermodynamic processes, a relation between delta H, delta U, questions based on entropy, questions based on Gibbs free energy. And in Gibbs free energy, particularly, there's a one special type of question, right, in which you have to check, like when can be the process spontaneous, non-spontaneous, etc., under what temperature conditions. Okay, then when you talk about the thermochemistry, in thermochemistry, there are three, four topics only which you have to focus on. Enthalpy of combustion, enthalpy of formation, bond energy, and one topic which I've skipped over here. Please do write that as well. That's enthalpy of neutralization. That's again, one more important topic from the thermochemistry part. Then talking about the chemical equilibrium. Characteristics of equilibrium constant is important. KPKC calculation is important. lee chatelier principle. These are the three topics if you just read these three topics particularly, right, I'm sure the question whichever comes in your chemical equilibrium, you will be easily solving that. Then in your ionic part, you have got pH calculation, solubility product, and these are the two important topics from which question frequently comes and will come also, okay? Then talking about your general organic chemistry, resonance, hyperconjugation, aromaticity, carbocation, carbenin stability, right? These are again some important topics which you need to focus on more as far as your general organic chemistry is concerned. Moving ahead to other topics. Solid state may you have got two topics, analysis of unit cells and defects, right? Analysis of unit cells and defects, just these two topics. 
Similarly, solution. In solution, you have got ideal, non-ideal solution. Take a prop, have a proper eye on that. And all the qualitative properties are equally important, including the Vanthoff factor and everything. Perfect. So these two topics you have to do properly, you're done. In electrochemistry, you have got Nernest equation, conductance part, which involves your molar conductivity, equivalent conductivity, etc. etc. Right? Then you have got Kohl-Ross law and its application. That's again one important topic. But in the need for the need 2023, do focus on Nernest equation more. Right? Why? Because if you look at the last year need paper, two questions were asked from Kohl-Ross law. So it's highly I mean, there is high probability that this year the question is going to come from the Nernest equation. Similarly, from the kinetics point of view, you have got first order reactions and Arrhenius equation. Two important topics, that's it, right? Then you have got VBT, CFT and isomerism in coordination chemistry, right? When it comes to your P-block elements, P-block elements, may you have to go for the trends. And in the trends, particularly, look at the thermal stability trends, melting point, boiling point, reducing nature, bond dissociation energy trends. These are the trends which you'll focus on more as far as your P-block elements is concerned. In your S-block elements, go for solubility particularly. The trends based on solubility, go for that. Then you have got two important compounds. One is borex, one is diborane. I mean, do read them carefully from your NCRT as well. Then you have got oxy acids of phosphorus, sulfur and halogens, right? These are again three important topics which you need to focus more, right? Then people, you have got organic chemistry basically, EAR, FRSR and ESR reactions. You have to read them carefully. Then in your alkyl halides, you have got SN1, SN2, E1, E2. All these reactions are equally important, right? Similarly, naming reactions, I'm damn sure you would have made a separate sheet for the naming reactions, right? So please and please go for the naming reactions as well. Looking at few more topics, just a second. Looking at few more topics. Dehydration, Lucas test from the topic alcohols, distinguishing test, which includes tolerance, Fallon and iodoform test, right? Reactions like aldol, right? Canizoro and Claisen. These are again important reactions. Side chain oxidation and acidic strength from the Carboxylic part, this was from your aldehydes, ketones part. Then from amines, when you talk about amines, diazotization, that's very important. Coupling reaction is important. Even basic strength is important from the chapter amines. Perfect. And similarly, my dear students, till now we have done some 53 topics. Now talking about 54th. Structure of starch, cellulose, maltose, lactose and sucrose. Important. Amino acids, very important. And all these topics you are going to cover only from your NCRT. Antiacid, tranquilizers. Analgesic, antiseptic, antibiotic. Again, very, very important topics. Directly copy and paste. I mean, directly read them from your NCRT. Similarly, nylon 6, nylon 6, 6, nylon 2, 6 and terline. These are again some important compounds which you need to focus more, right? Then you have got some topics from purification as well, right? One is this <coughs> Ajeldal's method, Dumas method. Chromatography need not to be discussed in detail, need not to be discussed in detail, but have a look on this as well, right? Then you have got distillation part, which you will focus on more. Similarly, photochemical smog, greenhouse effect, acid rain, again, three important topics. From your D and F block elements, if you talk about your D and F block elements, from your D and F block elements, go for the compounds like K2Cr207, k 4 and lanthanoid contraction. These are some 60 short, short topics which I'm giving you, my dear students. If you focus on these 60 topics, I'm 100% sure you can easily score 150 plus in your chemistry as far as the NEET 2023 is concerned, right? And for such more videos in physics, in bio, right? For some amazing tricks by HSP sir, by Shreya sir, by Ambika ma'am, right? Do share the channel. Let everyone Whosoever cannot understand Hindi, whosoever wants to get trained in English, let everyone get benefited from this particular channel. So I would want you guys to share this channel as soon as possible and keep supporting us, keep loving us and do not forget to subscribe to this particular channel as well. Take care, God bless you all and love you all.